his skull was cracked open in multiple places. Uh, he had bleeding on the brain, uh, he had multiple um, bones broke in his face, a major blood clot on his neck prevented him from eating. Uh, he was on a ventilator. He had some injury to his shoulder. He had injury to his, his jaw, to his, eye, to his ear. That's all the visible injuries and what they told me. There are still so many questions about what happened to Mr. Dennis Troy Jr. in the wee hours of the morning on February 21st. His son, Alan Stroy, says he was attacked while living at the Deanwood Rehabilitation and Wellness Center. He died March 20th. My father never communicated with us since his injuries. Um, he, was, he could move. Uh, he would open his eyes every once in a while. Um, he never communicated ever again. Uh, since he was injured. According to a report WUSA 9 obtained from the Metropolitan Police Department, officers arrived at Dean Wood at 327 a.m. The report says Dennis Troy Jr. had injuries to his head and face. The doctors actually think his injuries occurred maybe about four hours prior. They think it happened on the, the, the night of the 20th around 11 or 12. Uh, he wasn't taken into the hospital until 3 a.m. According to discharge documents from the center that Alan Stroy shared with WUSA 9, a social worker at Deanwood reported Mr. Stroy was bleeding from his ear, but none of his other injuries were included. And Alan says when he spoke to the team at Deanwood, he was given conflicting information. The second report was another nurse, uh, and I believe it was a, another shift, that said there was some type of altercation with a roommate, and as a result, uh, he was injured and they called the ambulance. We believe there was a crime committed. We know that has to be prove, proven, uh, but we believe that my father would still be living had not he been attacked in his home. We've reached out to Deanwood Rehabilitation and Wellness Center multiple times this week by phone and email to ask them about this alleged attack and to get some clarity on what happened. We have yet to hear back. In a statement, MPD says they're investigating Mr. Stroy's death and assault, but they're awaiting his official cause of death from the office of the chief medical examiner. And it's too early to determine if someone and who that someone is will face charges. No matter who attacked him, he was attacked, uh, brutally attacked, and um, uh, he almost lost his life that night, but he eventually lost his night, we believe, because of the injuries. Mr. Stroy had just celebrated his 80th birthday a week before the alleged attack. He danced with his grandchildren. Allen says his father lived a full and creative life, sculpting wood all around D.C. He's heartbroken, he says, because in his final coherent moments, pieces of his father were carved away. We want to know what happened, how, it, how they allowed it to happen, and what they're gonna do about preventing it from happening to someone else. I just wish that I was capable of taking care of him myself. Megan Rivers, WUSA 9.